Hey, what's up, guys? Tony here, and here we go. This is part two of the NLDS with the Padres. We are down two games to one going into game three. We got the Phillies have already locked up their NLCS uh, spot. Yankees and Twins are in the ALCS right now. I have a feeling it's going to be Yankees, MLB Phillies. That's air. just my guess, and that is actually my guess in real life, too. Yankees, Phillies. I would like to see the Red Sox go, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Yankees, Phillies. I just I have that feeling. And my there we go. My power cord doesn't like to work sometimes. Um, so here, all right, check this out. Right now, I was looking the, at the standings. Oh yeah, and yesterday when I said that it was a little premature for playoff baseball, I was wrong. I went and I was watching Sports Center after I did that commentary. And of course, like right after I did the commentary, I sit down. Sports Center's on, and they show the Yankees winning the East. I'm like, oh shit, the playoffs are here. I mean, I knew they're here. But I thought maybe they were a couple... I mean, they are, oh, what, seven games away? But I thought it was just sort of... It, just, it was like quick, because I had just done that commentary, and I was like, oh, crap, that's stupid. So what I figured I'd do, I'm going to have to do this for my um, Madden stuff. Uh, I need to go through and do Super Bowl predictions for Madden, and then, of course, World Series predictions for MLB The Show. And what I want to do is run down the list. If you haven't heard already, these are the teams that are play in the playoffs. The Yankees and Tigers, they have uh, they have taken their respective divisions. The West looks to like it's going to be taken by the Rangers with the wild card battle right now going between the Red Sox, the Angels, and the Rays. Now, of those three teams, my gut is to go for the Red Sox. I'd love to see the Red Sox go, but they go like every year, you know? I'd love a team like the Rays to go. I, I, I just like the Rays. They're just that the underdog. They're... The uh, underpaid team, they've got, a, uh, I mean, compared to, say, the Yankees and Red Sox, they've got a small budget. I mean, most teams, maybe minus the Phillies, have a small budget by comparison to the Yankees and the Red Sox. They really just, the amount of money they spend on players is, is, is mind-boggling. I, I can't really get my head wrapped around, you know, spending that much money. I think, what, they spent 250 million dollars, you know, with the Padres spending $40 million this last season or something like that. 200 more million dollars, 200 million more than the Padres or most teams. It's just, oh, God, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I guess that is the price for you pay for a championship. Um, so I'm, my World Series guess, like I said, Yankees, Phillies, uh, I would like to see the Red Sox go again. Um, I'm not necessarily like a bandwagoner, but especially going to Boston this summer, I, I sort of fell in love with the city. I fell in love with the fans, you know, I got the chance to talk with them and stuff, and they're really cool people, so I'd love to see them go, you know, there's, uh, the, the Yankee fan base, it's just, they, they're like Dodger fans sometimes, you know, they're just kind of annoying <laughs> at times, some of them, because I know some of you guys are from New York, so I, I'm trying not to offend, uh, I'm overgeneralizing, I know, not everyone's that way, but it just seems that way, that's the perception that we have out west, so, the National League, I think it's a little bit more cut and dry. I think there's more drama in the American League, and it's been like that for almost a decade now. Wait, has it been a decade? It's been like that for a long time, probably almost 15 years. The Yankees, it's always like Yankees, Red Sox. Well, within well this decade, yeah, but like in the late 90s, you know, it was the Braves and Bra Braves and Yankees. It was just the Yankees. All it's been the Yankees for a long time. Damn it! It's time for somebody else. No more Yankees. <laughs> But in the National League, we've got the Phillies, the Brewers, the Diamondbacks. But they call themselves the D-backs. I kind of hate that. But the Diamondbacks, the wild card looks to be Atlanta and or St. Louis. I think the Giants are going to fizzle out. They're not going to make it. I think they're like three and a half games out anyways. That's a, that's a lot of games to make up with. I think it's like six or seven left of the season. They're going to have to go on a win streak if they're going to pull this one out. I don't think they're going to do it. Um, so I I actually have, I have this gut feeling that... St. Louis is going to best Atlanta here pretty soon, and they're going to take over for the wild card. So I'm assuming it'll be St. Louis in, in the wild card. That's what I think. Yeah, I know Topher would love to see that. That's what I'm thinking. Um, Arizona, they're a great baseball team. They're a young baseball team. I just, I don't know. They're playing really well. So I don't know. It's one of those things that, you know, and that's the great thing about baseball. You just, you never know. Some team will get hot, and they'll just walk all over another team that you expect to win. But now that I'm saying it for the third time, uh, I see Yankees-Phillies again in the World Series. 
And I, I see the Phillies winning this one. I, I want to see National League teams win. I am, being a National League guy, I am so tired of watching the American League dominate. You know, and they dominate the play or the the postseason. They dominate the All Star game, home run derby. You know, it's just like God. Can we please have a National League team represent more than just a? Look at this. That was a good jump and. And I was pushing up on the head first slide and he went in feet first and got his ass picked off and injured in the process and that's one of the things that I'll be honest this game bugs me because they have an option between um, computer control slide or computer assisted slide or whatever and you use the directional buttons to slide and so I was pushing up like head first slide go Slides in feet first, he gets tagged out. So, obviously we won game four. Now we're in, this is the make or break game, game five. And so it's all two, tied, two up. And McLean still just is not hitting. It was a really frustrating day. I mean, yeah, that's a nice 5.5 hole. But that was a fastball right down the middle, which I'm, I, I was pretty disgusted. I, I kept getting disgusted. I, I could not believe that he would be that late and, and not hit that well, you know. But... It's just one of those things with the game. Some players, they've got it in the postseason. Some players don't. And maybe when this character gets older, because I think he's only technically like 20 years old or maybe 21 years old. So maybe with um, more more experience, more major league time, he'll become confident. And I figured that, you know, tying Roger Maris's record, beating Roger Maris's record would be one of those things that, you know, um, I was going to steal, but nope. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. But but, um, but breaking or, or tying a record like that would bring a lot of confidence to a player. And I guess it doesn't factor in. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this in the last commentary. I tied Barry Bonds. So I've got 73 home runs on the season. And I only needed like eight home runs with a month to go. I'm like, oh, dude, I could totally break that record. And then McLean just stopped hitting for a little bit. And then he picked it back up. Tied at 73. On the last day of the season, I think I hit two home runs or something like that. I, it was it was pretty. I was just like excited, and then of course when I moved in the postseason. This is what I get. But uh, I want to know what for you guys who are following baseball as as closely as, as I try to. Uh, what do you see in your World Series predictions? Do you guys see it Yankees Phillies again, or well, how do you? Okay, here's 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 a better way to, to ask it. What teams do you think are gonna go? But also, what teams do you want to go? Because I'd love to see uh, Rays and Diamondbacks. That would be kind of cool. Do I think it's going to happen? Uh, probably not. Like I said, Yankees, Phillies. I think that's like the fifth time I've said that since this commentary. But yeah, let me know what teams you figure are going to go. And then sort of give me your like long shot hopefuls. I'd love to see you know, a National League West team minus the Giants go. I don't really mind the Diamondbacks. I just don't like them when, they, when the Padres play them at Chase Field because we just can't seem to hit the ball there. So, yeah. I say Rays and Diamondbacks is my, you know, sort of fantasy World Series. But in reality, I think it's going to be Yankees and Phillies, like I said a whole bunch of times now. So, anyways, guys, this series is about to come to an end here we're losing was it five to one in the bottom of the eighth this is gonna be my last at bat for the season and then i get walked to draw a walk i had to become very very patient because they just were not giving me pitches to hit so anyways guys we lose to nlds so we are out again two seasons in a row and uh i'm moving on to 2013 so thanks guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i'll talk to you later